The atmosphere across Lagos for the presidential and national assembly elections was calm, with residents complying with the usual curfew which aroused elections in this part of the world. Roads deserted, markets shut, and the daily pollution of automobile in the metropolis on vacation. Although the polls commenced in accordance with the timetable of the election management body in several places, there were polling units where elections started very late. The state governor, Abadjide Sonwulu, voted at polling unit 006, a year calling ward, within the premises of St. Stephen's Primary School, Lagos Island, at 16 past 10 in the morning. He is happy with the conduct of the poll. So I want to um, confirm that it is life and well here. Um, I think there is a fairly good turnout here. And I want to imagine driving from the state house all, all here, it's been very peaceful um, without any incident at all. And I'm hoping that um, for the next couple of hours while it's on, it will be reflective of what we've seen here in all of the polling units that we have in the state and in the country at large. Here in this unit at Etiosa Federal Constituency, where popularization Bank W and incumbent as a representative member Babajide Obanikoro slugged it out with other contestants. The exercise did not start until 19 minutes after 12. Those of us who are residents here got together from 5 a.m. this morning, organizing the lines, giving out tickets so that everybody, you know, would be, the line control would be easy, it would be a smooth process. Unfortunately, INEC, like you said, it didn't, the process didn't really start till about 12. So while I understand that they have their own challenges to overcome, it would have been greater if we could have started earlier because the line could have been, you know, moved along quicker. Um, the problem is when people have been here since 6 in the morning and you don't start till 12, you know, it, it can discourage some people. People get a bit agitated. But now that they've started, I can, I can see, at least from my own point of view, that, you know, the INEC officials who are here are doing the best they can to move as quickly as possible. I don't think this area has been well organized. There are other areas where there is hardly anybody and there are two beavers machines. Here we're more than 2,000 and there's just two beavers machines, which means that if as at 12.40 or 12.35 now, they're still on number 50, it means that we definitely will not be able to vote. In a Kate area of the same Etiosa, some persons suspected to be political thugs swooped on voters, Hello? disrupting the exercise and destroying election materials, including ballot papers, ballot boxes, voting cubicles, and plastic furniture used by the polling officers on duty. It was a rowdy development, but soldiers and other uniform personnel brought everything under control. The INEC officials here, we can't get, you can't get to them because, I don't know, we try to call them, we can't see them, we don't know where they are. And I heard, we can't even find them, the guy with the, beef, um, the beavers, we can't find them. So we don't even know what to do next. But we are here, we are waiting that we'll have to vote. So it was, they were picking people from time to time, so from various reasons, we were talking to someone. Yeah, yeah, you just find any reason. When you go, you're meeting now. I just received the army, the uh, commander of the army and the police. It came to me, there was issue, and, uh, and they settled it. In Surulere, polling unit 020 at the Falulu junction of the popular Akrili Road, the situation was worse than what was recorded at Ikate. According to voters, a group of thugs who came on a minibus suddenly started shooting sporadically, injuring voters and destroying election materials in the process. This is my paper with me. Stay with me. Stay with me. I was here to drop it. I was here to drop it and this happened. So we all ran away and that was the and, and it ended. Everything ended. The shop gone now, so we'll not be here now. We ran away. Is anybody in um, yes, bruises, head and hand. But one ambulance came to help the person now. They're all gone. You can see some spent um, bullets here. For well, instance, this is one of those spent bullets that scared people away that was fired into the air and there was a stampede. Many people were injured in the process. You can see another one here. According to the information we have, they made a way with the presidential ballot box and left the ballot boxes for the Senate and House of Representatives. 
Of course, we cannot determine who these thugs are working for, but obviously they are sponsored by some politicians. As Nigerians await the announcement of the final result by the Independent National Electoral Commission, many voters in places where violence were recorded hope that the body will announce dates for a rerun of election in their units. Oba Adeoye, Rice News, Lagos.